hi it's wave and this is the fifth month update for my project pan so let's get to it my first item is my Tart life i used it for six times and usually i do more than that but because i was working on other uh, items that i was really heavily focused on i had to put this as like more of a back burner so this is what i currently have up on the screen there'll be more close-ups but i noticed that mostly especially my backbone color right here is more of a hard pan and it's getting more and more harder to use so what i end up doing is wiggling it out more but then it starts to crumble so it becomes a mess i don't like that but at the same time i'm getting more pan that way and also I'm not too worried that I empty it out because my other project pan has another um, seamless shade. Oh, I can't think of the word. Um, white. Then the bone color. So I'm okay with that. And the brown shade that's neutral, like right here, is getting more wider. Um, some of the purple satin shades, well, actually shimmer, is getting more of a pan. But other than that, this palette is okay, not my favorite, but it's not the worst palette I ever dealt with. My next item is the Make Me Brow in Brownie Brows, and 11 uses I got out of this. Can't show you anything, as I said before in the previous um, updates, but there's no smell, fibers are still going. I noticed I'm getting more than the last month. But I think it's because I've been like rotating it inside, or maybe I'm just like just doing this a lot. Not sure, but it still works. I'm still enjoying it, and it's easy to come off, so no issues there. My next item is the NARS bronzer in Laguna. So I've got this much right here, and I used it for 19 times. I generally get like 18 to 20 uses per month. That's what I've been noticing from um, what I've been writing down for each month. And mostly used it for on the cheeks than I did with the eyes um, like last time. I do get more panning on the side, even though I was trying to focus on more of the center part. But because of my brushes are pretty big and dense, it's not really heavily focused, whereas a makeup brush would. So hopefully in the pictures, it would show the difference. I like using it, but I'm getting more accustomed to the fact that I'm not really into a bronzer in general or even like blushes and you'll find out why later in the video. My next item is my DKNY So Delicious. This is what I have. It is fully panned. Now there is like a tiny bit there, but the problem I was having is that the last couple uses it was just harder to roll it out. So I made a point to like get it out of the way because it started to smell weird. So I knew that's like, okay, it needs to get done this month. So I was like heavily focused on putting it over my arms, um, back of the um, kneecap and the ankles and just kept going, going until it was like finally done. So I've had this for several years now. I've had this for several years now and it costs 24 bucks. So overall, I got my money's worth out of it. And the fact that it lasted me so long, uh, like say, I think it was five years, is actually a good deal for it. Especially that you don't need much to use to begin with. You just need to use like one roll here and you're pretty much done for the day. 19 uses, if I haven't said that already. And I'm just happy that it's out and I can move on to something else. My next item is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in Work. I have, what about, this much left? So I'm not sure if I used up a ton or not. The pictures will show if I have or not. I used it for 19 times. If you use very lightly of it, it goes a long way. But for me, I'm just not into blush in general. I'm not sure it's because I still can't figure out the placement of it. But I do know that since I started to use a tinted sunscreen, which is this right here, this will get a review sometime in the future. Um, my first Korean sunscreen 
tinted foundation, what you call it. I've um, been using this since my other one finished and I've been like pairing them together and because this has avocado oil in it, it actually moves this. So I try my best to stipple it instead of swiping because swiping would just remove it and I want to keep the sunscreen on. So it's nice but I tend to actually forget about it but I made sure that I got quite a bit of uses for the month. So still gonna finish it but I don't see myself purchasing another item like this. My next item is another pan and is the Bite Beauty in Chai. This is the original formula before it uh, got replaced by a new formula and this is all I have. So I've got 16 uses before it just got completely down. Now there is product inside of it but usually I don't dig it out because this thing was starting to smell weird for a while. I decided that once I hit fully, I was considered this officially out of my collection, which is nice. So I got to enjoy it while it lasted, but they don't last long because it's been sitting in my room for like a couple years now. So things expire eventually, but this was my main focus because I never fixed it as I mentioned in other videos and just wanted it out of my collection, like I said. Now my last uh, product is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner, and I actually finished this too. I'm so happy about that. It took me 12 uses to finally finish it. Now there is like a, what is it? Um, actually, yeah, like one little drop, but there's no way it can come out. This was like heavily focused on that too. So I've noticed that for the spot cleaner, it actually does really well with getting the um, milk makeup cream off of my um, brush because uh, I would just swirl it onto a microfiber towel to get it off. So um, it was good while it lasted, but sitting in the room for years too, just went out and I don't like the pump anyway, so I'm really excited about that. So now that I've panned three products this month, I was actually expecting it to be two. The DKNY was just incentive just to get it out of the way since it was going bad. So the first product I'm rolling in is this Hard Candy Brighten Sheer Envy. It's a setting spray. Now, I don't use setting sprays at all. Uh, I used the e.l.f. one years ago, and I found that it just didn't make a difference. So, never planned on getting one again, but my mom was surprised me with one um, last year. So, I started to use it for a bit. I use this more as to make my eyeshadows pop, so I have it on a brush and then spray onto it, give me more impact and shine the way I like it. And because my scale broke, um, the past two videos of the project panning or something like that. I can't show you the weight scale and all that and since it's not see-through it's gonna be hard so you're just gonna have to take my work from it. But from what I feel I have about this much used already so it pumps a lot so that's a good thing. With this my plan is to finish the whole tire bottle just to get out of my collection as well. And I believe that, well, my theory is that if I pair this with my Tarte palette, those shades um, that are shimmer will go out much faster. And maybe it will break the hard pan that I currently have. Um, so, we'll see. Um, my next roll-in is this perfume right here. My mom also got me this too. So, this will be replacing my DKNY perfume. This is made out of red berries and peach. I don't know how I feel about that combo, but since it's so huge and one pump just like gets me all over, I don't typically wear that because I'm also really sensitive to smell. So my plan is, is to use it like Christina Chang does, where she actually uses this kind of like a for using for bees product of just spraying it around the house. I've done that with my other huge bottles in the past two project pans so I learned that from her and I've actually enjoyed it that way so my goal is to finish this bottle too because I want it out of the way and just to declutter another perfume because I have 
a lot of mini sizes and then some perfumes that are about like this big and perfume takes me a long time to get through to begin with because you don't need a whole lot to begin to begin very psyched to see how much i can get out in one month um i know that it'll fluctuate each month so this is most likely gonna be the rest of the year of panning my last roll-in is this foundation from la color is the liquid makeup in natural now i don't wear foundations anymore because they just irritate my skin but since i'm using my scented sunscreen um that's korean the misha one i find that's like way too light and you actually see me wearing that shade um well no wearing that foundation in the maggie stervara video i'll have that up sometime in the future i think i'll have it by next month um or the following month so stay for tuned for that but i was wearing that foundation but it has sunscreen in it and that actually does not irritate my skin at all but it does break up quite a bit so i thought that because the shade's like a little bit darker i can mix it together and maybe it would give me like a natural blend but also i got this mainly for the packaging because it's an airless pump and i've been fascinated with airless pumps ever since i went on a field trip um to indiana a couple years ago and one of my skincare bottles just exploded because of the air pressure so i discover um airless jars like i said and i've been looking for more sustainable that way i can reuse them so this was actually at the dollar tree so for a dollar 25 um this is all it gives me but that's all i need that way i can actually reuse it and try to see how i can recycle it the best i can and i already got a couple punts in so this will last me i'm back and i can't remember what i was like saying beforehand so my goal is to finish this by the first or second month of this year um this is mainly just to help me get back in the habit of using my sunscreen that i have and because it's an airless pump it goes up pretty fast but also i know that i can get um, a ton of use out of it since it's not um like other there's no product that like left gets left behind that's what i'm trying to say and this is my update for may i hope you guys enjoy it in the meantime take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys on the next video bye